Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working on a Ford Edge, guys. But what we'll be doing here actually will apply to Lincoln MKX first generation and Ford Edge first generation, guys. We will show you how to remove and replace rear window switch. Stay with us, guys, and we'll do that. We'll demonstrate on the rear left door, but the rear right door will be the same way. The window switch uh, removal and replacement procedure will be exactly the same. Now, quick introduction, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, including this generation Ford Edge, we make at least 200 videos guys why we do all that why we take our cars completely apart because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can so all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys that's all we need thank you for watching and uh, if you need to buy replacement parts new switch tools anything like that check out the link in the description of the video below guys and you can see where we get all the parts from all the tools and all that stuff this is a 2009 Ford Edge that we'll be working on and we'll demonstrate we will demonstrate on the rear left door as I said, but the rear right will be the same way as well. So, how you guys remove that switch? Okay, this is the switch, okay, right here. Now, most of the cars we have to remove the door panel in order to get to the switch. On this generation Ford Edge and Lincoln MKX, you can remove the switch only. How? Get a plastic panel removal too, guys. You have four clips now holding it in place. Okay, and pop it out. Once we remove it, guys, actually three clips on this one. One, two, one on the front, three. So it will be really easy. Oh, four, guys, four. Okay, so it is four. Now, press down there, okay, and disconnect the cables. Now, if you need to remove the switch only, guys, okay, we'll need to get a small screwdriver, okay, small screwdriver, and there is four teeth holding it in place. Okay, just put some pressure on it. Okay, pull up at the same time. Now same thing applies to this side. Okay guys, and this is the switch assembly right here. That's how you guys remove it, as you can see how dirty it is. If you need to buy a new one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, guys. So please check it out. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that. Installation, it's practically in reverse order. We took it apart. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.